theme of the poem to the evening star. Theme of the poem to the evening star. Write down. Right. The benevolent, the benevolent, B E N E benevolent. I gave you the word earlier. E N E V O L E N T benevolent and Malevolent. Benevolent and malevolent. Malevolent means bad. Benevolent means good. Benevolent and malevolent aspect of nature. Aspect. A S P E C T. Aspect means quality. Aspect of nature. Write down. Nature is nature is nature is. A collection of nature is a collection of benevolent and malevolent forces. Malevolent forces. Forces, F-O-R-C-E-S, full stop. Some forces are, some forces are life supportive, life supportive, S U double P O R T I V life support you like the evening star and other forces are and other forces are life destructive life destructive d e s t r u c t i v e life destructive as as the west wind the west wind the wolf and the lion. The west wind, the wolf and the lion. The wolf and the lion. When one force, when one force, F O R C O power, when one force destroys the other force, 
preserve p r e s e r v other force preserve other force preserve the man and some other creatures the man and some other creatures are really are really helpless are really helpless before these evil forces before these evil forces or malevolent forces malevolent forces the sonnet the sonnet to the evening star the sonnet to the evening star depicts depicts how helpless man is how helpless man is especially in the dark world especially in the dark world because because many evil forces become active many evil forces become active during darkness during darkness during darkness and people expect and people expect the protection of people expect the protection of some supernatural forces supernatural s u p e r supernatural forces like gods and goddesses like gods and goddesses like gods and goddesses right that is the end of the theme